one step closer get the rear brakes installed next all right so you will have to excuse my workbench but we got the rear drive in so this is awesome so the thing looks like it's put together well so now we can put the back end back together so it's awesome and then I also went ahead and JB welded where the cracks were along this and pushed the seal in. So let's go take everything and get it put on. All right, so I got a little carried away. Um, this actually has to come back off because we need to put the rear differential back in first and slide the drive shaft through and then we can put this on so i'm going to take this back off and we'll get everything installed one thing i do want to do is i'm going to go ahead and stick this drive shaft in here just to kind of seal it up and i'm going to go ahead and dump some gear oil into this case and kind of let it sit like this that way, some of that gear oil will get down here to where the other gear is. Because once we install it, it's going to sit something like that. So that gear oil, it's going to be a lot harder for it to get thrown up here where our, uh, where our pinion gear is, is located. So I'm going to go ahead and put some oil in this and let it sit. That way this can kind of fill up with some pinion oil or some gear oil. And then we'll then we'll get it installed and then we'll refill it so so that's what I'm gonna do right now All right, let's uh, let's go get our drive shaft. We'll put our drive shaft in. All right, now this drive shaft. Let's get it out of the package here. Now this drive shaft is universal, so it's made. There, there is no right or wrong way to put this to put this in. So we're gonna go in from this way, and then uh, we'll start putting the brakes back on after we get this in. So what first thing I'm gonna do though is I'm gonna put some anti seize right here. Put some anti seize on these splines because you remember when we were taking it off. It was extremely hard to get off. Um, basically, we messed up our drive shaft. So I do not want that to happen again. So we're going to make sure we use anti-seize. So if we have to take it off again, it will be a lot easier to get back off.
comments say I'm definitely not in this video. Yeah, okay. It's from the right. Alright, so we're going to move over to this side. We're going to install our brakes. And then we'll finish putting that side together. tires on this sucker uh we'll set it down hey maybe we'll see if we can get the sucker to drive So we need to put some air in the tires. Uh, we'll throw a little bit of fuel in the tank and uh, see if this sucker drives. So eventually we'll get a battery and we can push start it, but we're going to roll with this right now. Got the air filter and the box we'll put back in here as well, but I just want to see if we can, if we can get this thing to drive.
like I said, I'm not sure how to put it in reverse. So we will go forward. And see how she works. the rear end put back on um, it drives awesome gonna have to figure out reverse um, we'll put our air box back on we'll get the carburetor tuned just right and uh, then we'll work on making it look a little bit better um, we'll take these racks off we'll sand them we'll paint them and then we're gonna cut these flares some as well to make it look good so I will uh, leave you guys with that see if I can fire it up and take off again <laughs> 